Hello and welcome to some more WWE 2K19 gameplay. Tonight we're starting with Ricochet Rises Tower. Just something to warm up on. Business just picked up. The man is alive. The following contest Ricochet. is the and from Paducah, Kentucky, hey, more more. weighing in at 190 pounds, wow. Ricochet. Ricochet. Mustafa Ali. Ali. Okay, let's have some fun. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Oh, man, this is going to be great. A former Chicago police officer, Mustafa Ali, is about breaking down misconceptions Ouch. and entertaining crowds with his high-flying style. Now, there's a lot of great moves in the cruiserweight division, but the 054 inverted splash may be the most impressive. Going all the way up. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Mustafa Ali prides himself on being a role model for everyone to follow their dreams and be the best they can be. It's all about defying preconceived notions and showing the power of ambition. Fellas, I almost got that warm, fuzzy feeling inside just then. Then I remembered that this industry is about winning. Ali needs to worry more about that. Come on, Ali. I want to add to the discussion of Mustafa Ali as a role model. You know, this is a guy who has shown time and time again that you can be a winner in WWE, but also earn the respect of everyone around you. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I've got respect for Mustafa Ali, but when he lets opportunities like the Cruiserweight Classic and his WrestleMania title opportunity slip away, I lose it bit by bit. At some point, he needs to learn that glory beats adulation. Harsh impact. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. He knows he's in trouble. He doesn't look too eager to get up, and I don't blame him. Look at this. Oh, breakneck speed. What a hurricane. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And at this wow. point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. Boom! Spikes him down. Stay down, man. Drop kick with precision. Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. Counter here. Ooh, nice, nice. Ooh, what impact. He wants no part of the outside. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Incoming. Nailed it. controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. 
He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. When this guy's on, look out. Big slam. WrestleMania 34 saw more than 78,000 fans converge on New Orleans. One of the most exciting matches happened earlier on as Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander face off to crown a new cruiserweight champion. It was a match that saw two close friends reaching for the same dream, Michael. <laughs> Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander both stopped at nothing to be the one to leave WrestleMania Ooh. with the cruiserweight title. Let's revisit Mustafa Ali's WrestleMania moment. He worked his butt off to get there, beating three tough competitors in the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament, but Cedric Alexander had an answer every time Ali got on a roll. It may not have been the outcome Mustafa Ali wanted, guys, but I know he was honored to compete for the coveted Cruiserweight Championship on the grand stage of WrestleMania. What's he going to do with it? Now in full control. This could mean trouble. Watch this here. Oh, here we go. He's in full control now. Scoop slam! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's close to being done here. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. He's playing with him now. Whoa! Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a... He's got him covered. That was nowhere near a three Ooh, count. Good counter counter was to keep him down. Oh, impact. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. WrestleMania 34 saw more than 78,000 fans converge on New Orleans. One of the most exciting matches. Uh oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lead! Check out the torque on the back. He's taking some... How do you do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Let's revisit Mustafa Ali's WrestleMania moment. He worked his butt off to get there, beating three tough competitors in the Cruiserweight Game Championship. On the apron. But Cedric Alexander had an answer every time Ali got on a roll. It may not have been the outcome Mustafa Ali wanted, guys, but I know he was honored to compete for the coveted Cruiserweight Championship on the grand stage of WrestleMania. This must be it! Oh, my! Mustafa Ali prides himself on... He goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. What a match. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Here it comes. He's got him. He's looking shaky. This could be the end. I want to add to the discussion of Mustafa Ali as a role model. You know, this is a guy who has shown time and time again that you can be a winner in WWE, but also earn the respect of everyone around you. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I've got respect for Mustafa Ali. When he lets opportunities like the Cruiserweight Classic and his WrestleMania title opportunity slip away, I lose it bit by bit. At some point, he needs to learn that glory beats adulation. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Ricochet carried a revered reputation upon being signed by WWE, and I must say, all of his acclaim is well warranted. Watch any highlight of Ricochet, and you will instantly realize that he lives up to his... Oh, boy, he is rolling. One, I two... I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Mustafa Ali still has some more high-flying to do, apparently. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He's going for it all. <laughs> Touching again on Ricochet's reputation. Look at this! This one is over. More often than not, that's that it. The that match. one's over. The cover. One. He gets two. His shoulder up before three. How? Oh, I believe in that one. Oh, he dodges out of the way. Yeah, 
and look at the quickness by Ricochet. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover leaf! Check out the torque on the back. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Here it comes, guys. Look at this. Oh, my. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. He has him right where he wants him. He's teetering on the edge here. Boom! <laughs> Ricochet has been proclaimed as the future of flight, Corey. With that in mind, what is the best strategy against him? Well, uh, Ricochet has the cheat code in life to turn off gravity, so keeping him grounded is paramount to having success. It can dazzle people, no doubt, but sometimes in a match, it becomes a fight, and that's where I believe Ricochet is outgunned. Weird Corey's thoughts on grounding Ricochet. Byron, would you agree on that being the best way to gain the advantage? There's a pin now. One, two. Why how in the world did he kick out of that? I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Too quick for him there. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover leaf. Check out the torque on the back. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lead. Check out the torque on the back. He's making a statement here with this attack. Whoa, he lets him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. WrestleMania 34 saw more than 78,000 fans. Ricochet into the cover. One, a two. And he almost had him. He's still in this. Right to the back of the neck. Stay oh, down. What are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lead. Check out the torque on the back. Let's revisit Mustafa Ali's WrestleMania moment. He worked his... Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. That's it. DDT on the ring. Bringing it back into the ring. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look out! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's making a statement here with this attack. Lightning fast reflexes. Well, hinder your modeling career. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know as a one, two, near fall out of it. Ali <clears throat> with the kick out. That is why Mustafa Ali is one of 205 lives. Best. And look at the quickness by Ricochet. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oof. He's not going to like this. He can't withstand one big time slam. Vicious. 
Stay down. One, two. Oh, that was a close call. Wow. Still kicks out of it. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Looking for the finish. Oh, incredible ricochet connecting with a match ending. <clears throat> Will this be enough? One, two, three. Whether you like it or not. Finally, you stay down, right Mustafa. One and Here's only. Here's your winner, Ricochet. And he gets the job done here tonight. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And the wreckage I suspect we're about to see will not at all be unlike a car wreck out on I-95. Down with a power bomb. Ricochet has certainly made an impression on the scene of sports entertainment. Ricochet's unique gifts are no accident. Since his teens, he's possessed the desire to fly as if gravity didn't exist. What a drop kick right to the back. Neck breaker. You express Ricochet's desires, Michael. This is a man who started wrestling in a backyard boxing ring when he was only 14 years old. Then at 16, he could finally afford his very own wrestling ring. And that became the beginning of Ricochet. Look, I'll give credit to the man's defiance against gravity. Ricochet's the man that just might prove Isaac Newton on. And the DDT! DDT. finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. He's setting it up right where he wants it. You gotta believe this one's over. Boom, what impact. He's starting to stagger a bit. I think Here we go. To bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with oh. this guy and walk away completely unscathed. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. Beautiful technique. Drop kick into the ladder. Irish whip. He's not looking good here. Oh, man. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Hey, I'm doing just fine. When this guy's on, look out. Ooh, what impact. Nailed it. He's on the defensive now. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Man, I knew this was going to be a closely fought battle, but I didn't realize it was going to be this close. This is unreal. Man. Oh, incredible ricochet connecting with a match-ending move. Wow, what a move. 
That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. Oh, no. I think we all know what's next. Yes. Look at this. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, boy. He's looking at it here, guys. Victory just a few inches away. And the crowd is starting to come to their feet. Oh, of course, you're not even going to climb the ladder to fight me, Lynn. So you're just going to run. And crashed and burned, and still, the title hangs above the ring. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Oh. I'm working with Saxton at ringside. I don't know. Whoa, oh, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's going to hurt. Making the climb here, guys. Oh. You never know. This could be it. Oh. Gonna need a better grip on that. Yeah, no way that's coming down. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Come on, Ricochet. Get off. I have a feeling under normal circumstances, we would have seen a pinfall by now, but this one isn't about pinfalls, it's about climbing the ladder. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. A long way. Ooh. Nice. Shut it down. Let's say Dorado may have it. No, you don't. Chaos. Melee. Pandemonium. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. Big opportunity for him here. Can he pull it down? I think so. Looks Winner's me. Grasp on it too. Here we go. One and only. Here is your winner, Ricochet. Nice victory. Team Dream. He's here! And from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, Velvet Team Dream. Team Dream. We know that Ricochet is a walking highlight reel, Corey, and now he's here to steal the show. Oh, and that's why Ricochet is a glory hunt goal. I mean, everyone's come here to see the enigmatic Velveteen dream. They come here to feel the experience, and now Ricochet's kind of just ruining the moment. These guys are...
undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. The Velveteen Dream already has an iconic Ooh. style, legion of fans, and multiple Match of the Year candidates. And the amazing thing is that the guy's only 23 years old. Now you can be sure that by the time the Velveteen Dream finishes performance, a heck of a lot of people are going to know his name. Oh, nasty impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Boom! <laughs> he's starting to feel it here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Ricochet here, of course, he's only the second man to capture the North American Championship. Brought the title a lot of recognition and prestige. Something he thinks its first holder was failing at. And look at the quickness by Ricochet. Look at this. To expand on what Byron had said about Ricochet bringing recognition to the NXT North American Championship when he won the title at TakeOver Brooklyn, Ricochet said that the title needed to be around the waist of someone who would defend it with honor. Uh, okay, you, you done? Let's get one thing straight, fellas. The North American title is special because of the first man that held it, because of Adam Cole. Ricochet only rode the wave of prominence that Adam Cole created. Boom, what impact! Green just barely got out of the way. What's he gonna do with it? Boom, nice. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, incredible ricochet connecting with a match-ending move. This could be it. Whoa, oh, incredible ricochet connecting with a match-ending move. This might be big. This could be dangerous. What's he got in mind? How easy this. Up and Drop down. It. Beautiful. Let's elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream Over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent, Cassius Ono. Ooh, nice counter, Dream. I gotta respect that. Up. Nice, Ricochet nice. Revered reputation upon being signed by WWE. And I must say, all of his acclaim is well warranted. Watch any highlight of Ricochet, and you will instantly realize that he lives up to his billing. Oh, you've changed up your fighting oh, style. You're actually oh, more right aggressive right now. You're weaker. And look Wham! At this by Ricochet. Touching again on Ricochet's reputation coming into WWE. Ricochet gained so much of his popularity outside of WWE. But since arriving on this stage, He's taking his game to a whole new level. And he has to, Byron. If you ask me, he came here with a bit of an overblown reputation. I mean, as I become more seasoned as a journalist, I grow more and more skeptical of internet darlings like Ricochet. Now look at the quickness by Ricochet. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry. You just sound like an amateur commentator. Oh, boy. He is rolling. This is it. Harsh impact. But can he follow up here? Oh, this is dangerous right here.
thunderous slam. Putting it all on the line. Look out! He's making a statement here with this attack. Face plant! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Impressive, but you gotta be careful if you go to the well too often. You gotta believe this one's over! Uh-oh, and a suplex! He's not going to like this. Oh! Incredible ricochet connecting with a match-ending move. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten in battle. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. If I get counted out, it counts against me. I'm just mad because I won this match and then it glitched. I can tell you, nobody's happy about it. Big win, albeit be a countout. Hey, a win's a win, but I'm not sure if there are many people on the roster that would want to get the win like this. Okay, well that match ended kind of weirdly, as I had clearly won the fight by knockout, but I'll take it. The bruising behemoth! Lars of Sullivan! And from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 303 pounds. Lars Sullivan destroys opponents with smothering offense and a speed that's like getting run over by a freight train. Look, he is fighting. preparation for this match you were studying footage of ricochet did you learn anything i tried to study tape of ricochet but i kept on hitting rewind on the vcr because everything was just so unreal he's a real stick of dynamite with the innovative maneuvers he pulls off he'd be wise to stay right there nailed it Boom! <laughs> byron i don't think people rewind tapes from vcrs anymore it's all digital now 
Even I know that. But regardless, Corey, how would you contain Ricochet's explosive offense? Well, I mean, listen, like Byron said, Ricochet can be a stick of dynamite, just like in the old cartoons. He can light the fuse, travel across the world, barricade himself in a bunker, and then get a package with the same dynamite that he sent blows up his face. Nasty impact. Ricochet carried a revered reputation upon being signed by WWE, and I must say, all of his acclaim is well warranted. Watch any highlight of Ricochet, and you will instantly realize that he lives up to his billing. Touching again on Ricochet's reputation coming into WWE, Ricochet gained so much of his popularity outside of WWE. But since arriving on this stage, he's taken his game to a whole new level. And he has to, Byron. If you ask me, he came here with a bit of an overblown reputation. I mean, as I become more seasoned as a journalist, I grow more and more skeptical of internet darlings like Ricochet. So precise. Oh boy, he is rolling. See, he's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the Last Battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later. Wayslip. Yeah, Rob. Find the star! He might just win this thing right here. That is exactly what Lars Sullivan needed. Byron, we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made of bamboo in the form of the Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Slam down hard. This one is over. Boom, what impact. Ricochet has been proclaimed as the future of flight, Corey. With that in mind, what is the best strategy against him? Well, uh, Ricochet has the cheat code in life to turn off gravity, so keeping him grounded is paramount to having success. He can dazzle people, no doubt, but sometimes in a match, it becomes a fight, and that's where I believe Ricochet is outgunned. You've got to believe this one's over! Weird Corey's thoughts on grounding Ricochet. Byron, would you agree on that being the best way to gain the advantage? Well, as Corey alluded to, Ricochet is a human video game. But I think his opponent would be surprised by Ricochet's math skills as well. He's a multifaceted superstar that presents quite the challenge. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Can he finish him off here? Oh, nasty impact. Nailed it. Way slip. Yeah, wrong. Slam with authority. Here's his moment, Michael. Oh! Incredible ricochet connection. 
connecting with a match-ending move. But he's got a capital. Oh! Incredible ricochet connecting with a match-ending move. Not sure how much he has left. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Come on, Lars, get off. Yeah. Wow, I thought he was a god. And he countered it. Nice, nice. He escapes trouble there. I'll tell you, the cage has absolutely beaten down these superstars. These superstars wearing the whoop incoming. Wayslip. Yeah, wrong spine buster. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Beyond boisterous tonight. Okay, so this is the final match. Now, normally I would have put my custom characters through a few fights, but. Tonight, I wanted to test myself and I should see if I can still play as the others. think there's going to be anything traditional wow. about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here. You've got to believe this one's over. Somebody's got hops. What a stop. Good 
grief. Beautiful technique. Oh, this man just sped up. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> he looks a bit off his game here. With these two guys, yeah. we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. This match is so evenly oh, contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Looking for the finish. Stay down, man. Look at this! Whew. I think he was setting up for rank move. Paper DDT. Nailed Boom! It. Knee drop. He wants no part of the outside. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this. Ooh, nice counter, nice counter, nice counter. Got the kick, back drop. Boom, oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. This must be it. Oh, my. And look at the quickness by Ricochet. Scoop slam. He's going for it all. He's lining him up. He can't withstand one bit more. Harsh impact. Didn't counter this time, did you, Alistair? Oh, Down you go. Ricochet here, of course, he's only the second man to capture the North American Championship. Brought the title a lot of recognition. <laughs> it's an Something he thinks his first holder was failing at. Here it comes. He's got him. He'd be smart to stay. Slam! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Okay, oh, time to add here. To expand on what Byron had said about counter here. Oh boy, he is. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Bam, what a slam. Looks like he's starting to tire. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. The bottom line here is that despite what's going on right now, he's still in much more favorable health than his opponent. I have to be careful. He gets that finisher, it's over. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He's playing with him now. The end is near for him. Uh-oh. Allen, ooh, what impact. Can he finish the job? What a strike. Warm up the bus. Alistair wins. I lost the gauntlet, people. No, I know. I'll take it. That was a good match. I think to finish this off, I'll do a tag team fight.
to what I hope will be a great match. I'm in a great public day. seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one Michael the night excuse me well it's not brother to destruction the entrance is here but it is the brother of destruction fighting me And their opponents, first, from parts unknown, weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane! <laughs> what a terrifying sight to behold. What a frightening... The temperatures just dropped like 50 degrees in here. Somebody get me a jacket. The what cemetery did they dig the Undertaker? And his partner from Death Valley, weighing in at 328 pounds. The Undertaker. the Undertaker. This is going to be a difficult match for me. But I'm going to love every minute of the challenge. Let's see if the Wolf Pack can beat the Brother of Destruction in a fight. Underway. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson Ouch. in how it's done. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Uh -oh. the oh my goodness, crushing it! A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Shot block! You know what? When he doesn't have the size on these guys, he makes up for. Inching closer to his part. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. 
Back between the ropes. Ooh. Ooh, okay, maybe that's not a good idea of putting Ellie in the fight with Taker and them. <laughs> but I am so doing it because it's fun. And partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Just launched. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. He knows he's in trouble. Better stay right where he is. DDT! DDT! Nobody does it quite like him. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday night. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar. Ooh, King Someone Counter. Ooh, okay, time to get my character in. You're doing your damage, Elliot. Flying Spear. <laughs> The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Oh, turn down the lights, kick everybody out. There's Curtain call. Kane is getting absolutely pummeled. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have full great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nope, oh, over the face. Kane Ooh, okay, out. Kane got me. The elbow finds its mark. He's in trouble. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier. Kane, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Choke slam straight to hell. But he can end it here. He's got him. No trouble kicking uh -uh. out. Yeah, this Not no even chance. close to enough, Kane. Oh, and he reverses it. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy mounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their order to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Jeez. Ah, now Kane's leaking. Oh boy, he is rolling. Corey, you touched on this before, part of it. Tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way. Going for the big one. DT Planner. That should do it. Watch this here. Here we go. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. How can they get away with that? That's not legal. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. When Kane ripped the Hell in a Cell door off its hinges and stood nose to nose with The Undertaker, the his shoulders are down. Two! No, he kicks out at two. Yeah, see, uh -huh. he's just testing the waters a bit there. 